teachers and students to monitor progress through a course. Now, we first need to ensure the administrator has enabled progress tracking through global settings. And then we as a teacher come into a course, go to the settings block, course administration, edit settings. Under the student progress section, we need to ensure that completion tracking is enabled and completion tracking begins on enrolment. Save those changes. From there, we should see completion tracking in the settings block menu. And again, we can come in here and adjust settings as need be. We might decide to allow students to manually indicate they've uh, completed the course. We can determine what activities are aggregated toward course completion. Save the changes there. Turn to the course page and turn editing on. There's two blocks you will need to add to your course page. Course completion status. and self-completion. So let's log out momentarily as teacher and to come back in as a student. We confirm self-completion. And logging out as student. Logging in as teacher. We should be able to view the course completion status report. We get a snapshot there of the students and where they're at at this point in time.